Hello again, Fizzles family and friends. This is the pastoral message for Saturday, October 23rd. And as we do on most Saturdays, this continues our Saturday series of meditations on the Psalms. This week we're up to Psalm 49. As always, these are in the style of a UCC still speaking daily devotional. And so I invite you to read the Psalm in your own Bible, then to watch and listen to the meditation. And then if you choose to, read the psalm again and have the meditation, have the reflection in your mind as you're reading it. The title for today's meditation is, You Can't Take It With You. And the focal verse is verse 16 and the first half of verse 17 of Psalm 49. Don't be overly impressed when someone becomes rich, their houses swelling to fantastic proportions, because when they die, they won't take any of it with them. And that's from the Common English Bible translation. And so this week's reflection. I don't know if this week's psalm, Psalm 49, was the origin of that famous saying that became the title for this week's meditation, You Can't Take It With You. But it might just as well have been. Again and again, the psalmist in this psalm makes the point that wealth will mean nothing when considered in the balance of salvation. There's no amount of riches that you can pay to God for your life. If you think those who are wealthy are wise, the psalmist reminds the reader, or more precisely, reminds those singing this psalm or song in worship, that the fool and the dolt perish together and leave their wealth to others. Buried in the middle of this psalm is the author's answer to the riddle of what makes for true wealth and true wisdom. What's lasting beyond, what will last beyond our limited years of life. But God will ransom my soul from the power of the grave, for God will receive me. Or as Jesus reminds us in Matthew's Gospel, do not worry, saying, what will we eat, or what will we drink, or what will we wear, but seek first the kingdom of God and God's righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well and our prayer for this week. Gracious Lord, help us to look to you to sustain our lives. Help us to place our trust in you and not in things that don't last. Help us to know and share your love, for in that we know true wealth. Amen. I look forward to worshiping with you tomorrow for our regular 10 a.m. sanctuary worship. We will have our congregational meeting after worship tomorrow to discuss the proposal to re-roof the church. And we then will have a Zoom devotional, as we do on most weeks. Uh, I'll have it scheduled on Zoom for 1130, although depending on how long the meeting lasts, we may start a little late. Hopefully not. Um, also, today was a good day. We had our Zoom Make It and Take It craft day. Thanks to Pam for organizing that, and when I get a chance, I'll get the recording of that session uploaded to uh, the usual platforms. And so, also, uh, hopefully, if you're reading this, you've all, or you, excuse me, if you're watching this, you've already made preparations for bringing uh, food or personal care items for uh, contributing to our Harvest Sunday celebration tomorrow in worship. And so, again, I look forward to worshiping with you tomorrow, and until then, remember that God is taking care of us, and that God is where we can place our trust. And so stay safe, stay healthy, stay strong, and I know that God is continuing to bless us all. Goodbye for now.